In a collision, energy moves through the vehicle. There was a time when controlling the transfer of energy to protect the occupant's safety was not a key element of design. Over time, the automotive industry began to address safety concerns through their design and selected materials of the vehicle. These crash videos remind us that even as a repairer, when a vehicle is brought to our facility, it is important that we follow the energy transfer, not just to inspect the point of impact. For example, in this crash test video of the 2011 Ford F-150, note how parts such as the drivetrain, engine mounts, transmission mounts, and rear suspension all experience energy transfer and take damage. For a unibody, the energy transfers differently throughout the vehicle. You can see the energy move through the panels and to the rear of the vehicle. However, note how safe the occupants are. The automotive designers have purposely taken the load path around the occupants. How can collision repair professionals successfully educate and negotiate with insurance companies for the additional labor required it takes to properly analyze today's vehicles after a collision? ICAR has stated in its 2016 Vehicle Transit Technology Module that the most common changes in automotive design have been to strengthen the occupant compartment, adding new structures to engage the small overlap barrier and creating additional paths for crash forces. But what effects have these added parts to the structure and extra load paths had on collision repairs? These extra parts, added to protect the occupants from a small offset collision, can result in the vehicle moving in a different direction than expected. A collision in the front left, for example, may result in unexpected structural damage to the right rear. There are five easy steps for appraisers in identifying structural misalignments. One, collision dynamics. The understanding of how a vehicle structure reacts to the forces involved in a collision. Two, visual inspection. Search for clues that can indicate structural damage. Three, measure. Important measurements used to detect structural misalignment. Four, analyze. Combining collision dynamic knowledge, visual inspection, vehicle measurements, and build tolerances to reach a comprehensive understanding of the actual misalignments. Five, Repair planning, defining the steps in the process. With each vehicle, the repairer will need to create a repair plan that can show technicians and customers where the damage is and how each problem can be addressed and corrected. As repairers, we are tasked with the proper repair of each vehicle within our facility. When combining the differences in vehicle design and materials by model and the variances in collision types, it is unreasonable to think as repairers that a set of predetermined values or times outlined by insurance companies or any other third party provider can be accurate. Let's quickly review the steps required to simply measure and correct structural misalignment. Obtain the estimate for the vehicle being repaired. Obtain the OEM data for the specific vehicle. Gather all necessary tools needed for the repair. Make sure all weld on parts are correct and available. Pull up data on repaired vehicle from equipment manufacturing. Remove any parts from access to pinch welds or other methods of attachments. Place vehicle on frame machine or bench. Attach vehicle on pinch weld clamps or other recommended clamping systems. Remove tires and wheels. Disconnect the battery if necessary. Set up measuring systems or jigs. Pull to correct mash, sway, sag, and or diamond. Remove and install all parts as specified in the estimate. Remeasure vehicle. Install tires and wheels. Replace any corrosion protection items necessary at this junction of the repair. Remove vehicle from the frame machine or bench. Repair pinch welds if necessary. Replace equipment to proper storage areas. When comparing the steps required to commonly held industry standard times for the operation, you can see the potential gaps in proper compensation. As you can see in this article taken from the March 2016 issue of Hammer and Dolly magazine, the consequences for an improper repair can be a significant detriment to your shop and your business. A body shop repaired a Range Rover and the vehicle was reinspected by another repair facility. It was determined that their original repairs did not follow OEM printed procedures and there was still additional frame damage that was missed on the estimate and by the repair techs. A case of fraud was brought against the original body shop and judgment on nearly half a million dollars was awarded to the plaintiff. It is time that repairers start repairing cars to satisfy insurance KPIs and start to repair vehicles to ensure the safety of the driver and the passengers. Today's vehicles need to be thoroughly inspected and all structural damage measured and identified. OEM procedures need to be adhered to.